she's electric She's got a family full of eccentrics She's done things I never expected And I need more time And I want you to know I got my mind made up now But I need more time I'll be you and you'll be me There's lots and lots for us to see There's lots and lots for us to do She is electric, can I be electric too? She's Electric by Oasis. Ah, oh, this is a, a real favourite of mine. Um, they don't write them like this anymore. These lyrics are amazing. Uh, we do have some bar chords in there, and if you need help with bar chords, you can check out this free video where I talk you through exactly how to do that. We will be covering the solo as well later in this video, and chapter times are in the video description. Uh, let's make a start. So the song starts on an F sharp uh, bar chord, F sharp major. And that would happen for four bars. A one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Sliding down to F for just one beat. And then the rest of the song is in the key of E major, which we're typically going to play in this uh, with fingers two, three, and four, so that we can slide around our bar chords uh, much easier. And E major is the key of the song, played with two, three, and four. You can choose to play them with the first three fingers like this. While that F sharp bar chord is playing in the intro, uh, we do have this little lead line that I'll just show you quickly that goes like this. It's a cycle of three notes. We can play this elsewhere on the fretboard, but I think this keeps it um, more connected with the F sharp that we're playing here. It's a bar of the thinnest two strings and then we pick string two, hammer on at the fourth fret with the third finger, and then pick string one. So we have a cycle of one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And with the pick, it's really handy to know that we actually go like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it can be useful to pick with a down on string two and an up on string one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the third finger hammering on. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that first finger is held down the whole time. Verse chords. So all these chords are in the key of E. And as I've previously stated, we're playing that E major with fingers two, three, and four, so that we can then slide them uh, to our first finger barring at the fourth fret, and fingers two, three, and four on exactly the same strings, making like a, a little E major shape proportionate to um, how they were before, and proportionate as if this first finger is like a capo. Because the root note is here, this is a G sharp major bar chord. So E. G sharp major, then we move fingers two, three, and four down a string from where they were. So they each go down a string, so they're on strings two, four, and three. And this first finger should really move down a little bit as well and mute the underside of string six because we want the root note to be on string five, which would make this a C sharp. That's our C note, C sharp and this is a minor shape because we've moved them down to here again. If you need a more full explanation of bar chords, major and minor, check out this page on my website and uh, you can check out my wider Improver Guitar course which covers all this sort of stuff really in depth. So that's the C sharp minor chord and then we go down to an A major. You could play this A major in the sort of standard three fingers in a line fashion, but when we go from a bar chord to an A major, it's really handy to get used to this one fingered A chord where we're holding down finger, uh, strings two, three, and four, but all with the first finger. 
and it's just much easier to change between it. That's just an option. So in total we would have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E major, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, A major. Notice by choosing these options that I've demoed already, using fingers two, three, and four like this, for example, my finger shape, my fingers don't really move too much. They're constantly in that E major shape. And then to finish off the verse, it's C major, D major, E major, briefly lifting off the first finger to go to an E minor, but only briefly. And that would be always at the end of the verse, typically on the words, but I need more time. So a quick strum through the verse in two, three, four. She's electric. She's got a family full of eccentrics. She's done things I never expected. C major. And I need more time. One more time. She's got a sister. And God only knows how I missed her. On the palm of her hand is a blister And I need more time Strumming. Well, this song is to a swing rhythm where the off beats are a little delayed uh, to the rhythm of one and two and three and four rather than everything being even, which we would call a straight rhythm. So if we can just um, get the groove of one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four first. We can hear that bounce. That's this swing rhythm. And uh, we're going to strum in this fashion. If you're really eagle-eyed there, you'll notice that I was just strumming exactly the same as what I just demoed there, just hitting every strum exactly the same with the right hand, one and two and three and four and all the time. But it's when I choose to mute with the, the chord hand and when I choose to change chord, which gives this song its distinctive rhythm. And the thing I'd like to point out the most is that we change chord on the beat for the first bar one and two and three and four, okay? One and two and three and four. And then we, we're a little ahead of the beat on the C sharp minor and the A. One and two and three and four and, and, okay? And you need to get that rhythm first. Uh, to make it easy, you could just put them all on the beat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that would be easier but the full rhythm would be two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one One and two and three and four and one and two and that last bit one more time. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. And. Notice on that last time, one and two and three and four and I'm lifting off a strum early to be able to get to my next chord change when I want to. That's so important. One and two and three and four. Lift one, two and three and four and. Chorus. So we begin the chorus on the A major and then we go to an A major seven. Which, if you use the way that I teach an A major in my beginner's course, which would be this way, one, two, and three, two above, three below, you just have to slide that first finger to the first fret. A major, little finger isn't down, A major, A major seven. And I want you to know, i got my mind made up now. A major, 
and then C sharp minor again. So the third chord, one, two, three, that one. But I need more time. Now this was an E major to an E major seven. Simple way to do it is without the third finger. Just lift the third finger off. But you can also add in your little or third finger on the third fret of the second string. Time. One more time through that. Two, three, four. Top of the chorus. And I want you to know a major, a major seven. But I need more time. Virtually the same again. And I want you to see. Do you know what I'm saying? But I need more. Cause I'll be you and you'll be me E7 There's lots and lots for us to see F sharp minor There's lots and lots for us to do So that's the second fret, the first chord in the song But the minor version, so no middle finger Lots and lots for us to do She is electric, that's a B Second fret bar chord she is electric, and I'll be electric too. You can also play that bar chord like this, but I always prefer fingers two, three, and four down right on the tips like this, and that first finger on the side of the first finger, and barring like this. Muting, string six. There's lots and lots for us to do. She is electric, and I'll be electric too. Then we're back to the verse chords. But uh, we have this little solo. And this is tough to do on acoustic because the strings are thicker, we can't quite bend them up to where we want to go. But this is part of the E major pentatonic scale. So that's the 12th fret, the double dot. This is 9th fret. And we are play most of this on the 3rd string, occasionally going to string 2. Uh, it would be a bend up first. If it was on electric this would sound a lot better, but I'm just demoing an acoustic. If we were on acoustic, we typically slide uh, rather than bending up that far, so that would be sliding 11th fret to 13th fret. Then it is a slide in the uh, original version. It's a slide, 11 to 13, 12 to 14, And then a little bluesy note, 12, slightly bent up to 9th fret. That move again. In total, in total, the 1, 2, 3, 4. Second half. Like all the same notes, but a really lovely melody. Um, sliding up to 13th fret. That's second half. Sliding up, 11th fret to 13th fret. 12, um, 11, and then 9. So going down a fret at a time. Bending up, and then unbent, 11th fret, 9, 11, 9, 11. That second half again.
So seeing as this is such a sing-along favourite, um, let's have a little playthrough of the entire song from the beginning so you can see how it all fits together. Uh, I'll try not to put you off too much with my voice because I've got a little bit of a cold at the moment. Uh, let me make sure that I've got all the chord sheets in front of me and then we'll make a start. So full playthrough from the F-sharp bar chord. Here we go in a one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Slight emphasis on beats two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Remember, you can slow down the video if you need on YouTube itself. Can be very handy. Here we go. Here's a verse. She's electric. She's got a family full of eccentrics. Done things I never expected and see major D and me. She's got a sister, and God only knows how I missed her. Not the palm of her hand is a blister, and I need more time. Chorus, and I want you. Got my mind made up now, but I need more time. And I want you to say, Do you know what I'm saying? But I need more, cause I'll be you and you be me. There's lots and lots for us to see There's lots and lots for us to do She is electric, can I be electric too? Do 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 Solo time! Do 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 Got a brother, we don't get on well with one another, but I quite fancy her mother, and I think that she likes me. She's got a cousin, in fact, she's got about a dozen. She's got one in the oven, but it's nothing to do with me. Chorus And I want you to know I've got my mind made up now But I need more time And I want you to say Do you know what I'm saying? But I need more I'll be you and you'll be me There's lots and lots for us to see There's lots and lots for us to do She's electric And C, D, E to finish C, C, D, E Can I be electric too? And the last time when the ah, ah, ah. That was a bar of E and then a bar of D and then finishing on the E. Fantastic, what a sing-along classic. As I say, if you need any help with the bar chords, my Improver guitar course available as a download and on DVD and book and everything like that from andyguitar.co.uk will help you master all these kind of changes and get the strumming along with them and even show you how to improvise little lead solos like in this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.